Most of the times when you tie a clove hitch, you'll probably want to be at the end of a rope. And it's easy to tie in the usual way because um, you've just got a short end of the string that has to be threaded through the um, knot as you tie it. But there are occasions when you might want to tie a clove hitch in the middle of a rope and it's a real pain to have to thread the rope through the um, the turns of the clove hitch. And so this is a slightly different way of tying a clove hitch, which relies on having access to the end of the spar that you're wanting to tie things on. So what you do is you take your rope and you create a loop like this. And you'll notice that the loop I've made, I'm going to call it a rabbit ear, um, has got the um, rope going over the top of the other rope. And then I'm going to make another loop beside it, but I'm going to do it the other way. So I'm going to have a second rabbit ear, but instead of the rope that's going downwards going in front, I want it to go behind. Okay, so I've got one in front and one behind. It actually doesn't matter which one, whether it's the one on the left that's in front or the one on the right that's in front, so long as one's in front and one's behind. And then what you do with these two rabbit ears is you just slide them over the top of each other in such a way that the bit that's behind goes over the top of the bit that's in front. So see how this bit's in front, this bit's behind, the bit that's behind is going over the top of, and the loop that's with it goes over the top of the loop that had the bit of rope in front. And so you've got this stack of two loops, which you then put over the end of your spar that you're wanting to put your clove hitch onto and pull it tight. And there's your clove hitch. Nice and simple. So just a little quick reminder of how to do that again. And I might even do it the other way around this time if I can think about how to do it. Um, made a rabbit ear and I note that I've got, um, this time this is on top. I'm going to make a rabbit ear beside it and I want to make sure that that rabbit ear has the end of the rope going down behind and then I slide the loops over each other in such a way that the loop that's got the rope going behind goes over the top of the loop that's got the rope to going over the front of the loop. So there they go over the top of each other and then into position over the spar and then tightened like that. Clothage done a different way.